सो हेलो माई डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक वेलकम टू योर चैनल कुकिंग एस्ट्रोलॉजी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर सब्सक्राइबिंग माई चैनल एंड लाइकिंग माई वीडियोज एंड सेंडिंग मी थूपर थैंक्स सुपर थैंक्स यस सो टूडे इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स कंटिन्यू अवर लॉन्ग जर्नी ऑफ प्लैनेट्स थ्रू डी नाइन चार्ट इन वेदिक एस्ट्रोलॉजी एंड राइट नाउ वी आर कवरिंग दी फोर्थ हाउस एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो लेट्स ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड प्लैनेट राहू प्लेसमेंट इन दी फोर्थ हाउस ऑफ योर डी नाइन चार्ट एंड वट आर गोइंग टू बी दी कारमास दैट आर इंटरकनेक्टेड बिटवीन यू एंड दिस राहू फोर्थ हाउस इज अ वेरी ट्रिकी हाउस ऑफ द डी नाइन चार्ट बिकॉज स्पेसिफिकली मेलिफिक्स टेंट टू परफॉर्म एक्सट्रीमली वेल इन दी फोर्थ हाउस दे हैव द कैपेसिटी टू गो बियॉन्ड और मेलिफिक्स हैव द कैपेसिटी टू क्रिएट अ स्ट्रेच फैक्टर इन दी फोर्थ हाउस whenever this rahu if it is all alone okay there is no any benefit positive any drishti up there if rahu is all alone in the fourth house this have the capacity to uplift you people specifically after the age of 32 into the financial prospects of life and that is going to be a very steep financial inclination that you are going to see in your life because rahu is that kind of a planet where rahu's mentality or mindset is working in such a way if i will be able to provide all the comfort conveniences these things to my family then i'm going to be totally free and rahu then tend to live in that world of illusion because rahu is that materialistic hunger which is present inside every person no matter how if you maybe purchase this car then this car this car this car this car you purchase a small home big 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 so rahu represents that expansion part and in that process rahu have the capacity to accumulate huge amount of resources this is a very resourceful or very resource giving kind of a planet in your horoscope now depending upon other planets also whether you have the capacity to properly utilize these resources or whether you are only the holder that part actually going to depend upon the combination of both d1 and d9 chart combined together and here the karmas are also going to play a very very important role you also need to check what is the condition dignity of rahu in my d1 chart and how the transition is actually happening into the d9 chart for example rahu from the sign of taurus is going in the sign of cancer so transition from the earth element earth mean materialism into the sign of cancer spirituality clearly symbolizes after certain age person tend to lose interest in materialism and then they go towards more towards the spirituality and the spiritual side of the life similarly if rahu is in the maybe fire element in d1 and going into the air elements like the sign of gemini libra aquarius then rahu have the capacity to create lot of instability P- personal instability i'm talking about because this is the house which have the capacity to give you the maximum comfort or this house have the capacity to decide a fixed place okay this is my den my home i'm going to stay up there air elements along with rahu they tend to infuse the connection in such a way where rahu tend to become the explorer explorer mean to say traveling to different 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 locations even if you look from the 7th house particularly of t9 chart this house is going 10 places away 10th place is actually going to become the house of your uh, spouse life partner so the profession is also so- seen through this rahu now rahu is actually going to make your partner whether male or female very very ambitious personality they are that kind of individuals that are having very unrealistic kind of a goals like becoming the prime minister president earning trillion dollar this thing that thing so you will see that thriving force is actually going to be working behind this rahu the negative aspects of this rahu is when it is with malefics specifically with saturn saturn rahu although in the materialistic side you are totally blessed i'm not denying that fact if this is with uh, mars actually this is with some debilitated planet maybe debilitated mercury and rahu then this is going to shake the foundation of a person because then you need to look into the planet okay maybe rahu is in conjunction with jupiter saturn mars or any other planet look into d1 chart 
and look at the zodiac sign of that particular planet for example rahu is with mars and mars is gaining control over the first and eighth house in your d1 chart and if that rahu and mars is up there in the fourth house so this is going to create a lot of shaking in your lagna that is your physical personality and in the eighth house of transformations now this also represents a huge karma because it's not easy to rahu to get conjunct with planets in the in the d9 chart if it is with venus so it means where karma is coming through your wife through your life partner this is with mars mercury sphere karma is coming through your enemies through your siblings also this is with moon sphere karma from mother with sun sphere karma with father with jupiter sphere karma is with your gurus so this is going to create some sort of karmic backlog now karmic backlogs are not easily understand using only one placement because that is going to be a connectivity of different charts combined together this will actually help you to understand what karma rahu is going to play out here unfoldment of that karma is also going to take its time actually because whenever these planets in the fourth house they usually tend to mature very slowly it doesn't matter whether jupiter is there or any other planet is over there karma unfoldment is actually going to take its time maybe initially you are enjoying your life happy satisfied full contented and you are thinking everything god have blessed me but down the line within the same pathway 5 10 years later you are cursing for the same things which you have received right now this is rahu karma right now you feel contented but down the line you feel the curse is there that is actually rahu this is the single most planet which is also responsible for giving lot of ancestral debts lot of curses also if for example rahu is in conjunction with your fifth house lord from the d1 chart actually that is your children severe amount of karma with your children but that unfoldment is going to take its process maybe initially right now baby is born that is just one two year old and you are enjoying but as soon as the progression of this house will start progressing you will see that karma unfoldment slowly 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 one step at a time now i'm not saying this is a bad or this is a good that you can check the complete chart in order to understand the complexity of this placement apart from this one more beautiful thing from the marriage and the married life aspect rahu is going to create like millions of possibilities in the fourth house and out of which the two main possibilities are going into the foreign land and foreign country immediately after marriage or secondly the age difference is going to be bit high like you are a male 30 years old marrying a girl 20 years old 10 year of age difference i have seen practically in 7 to 8 charts with this rahu placement huge age differences are created by this rahu and there are going to be lot of cultural differences very very difficult for you to even marry a girl within the same community same culture with this rahu so this is actually going to be a exceptional placement in one side this is becoming that provider of everything and on one side the huge karmas are also coming in their life that is why these axes they are always in balance all the time if all the planets are balanced in your chart rahu and ketu they are going to create some sort of imbalances in your life even if this rahu is with more benefits also for example uh i made also one video on how to study the conjunctions of rahu with the other planets in the d9 chart you can watch that uh, videos as well but if rahu is with more and more planets in the fourth house cluster of planets are posited up there then what is going to happen this is going to make you a very scientific thinker spiritual and scientific person by mean to say spiritual and scientific thinker these are the people they slowly with the passage of time tend to lose interest in all the god and these supernatural or these things related activities because rahu have the capacity to at the same time question everything this is the planet of curiosity so in the fourth house if some relationships are not going in the good direction rahu is going to question that thing rahu is also going to be a dead kind of a planet where maybe out of 100 people 99% people are running after marriage i'm looking for a partner they fall into that 1% exceptional category they might going to question marriage as well like why we need to get married what is the purpose the reason why we are actually going for marriage 
they might going to consider marriage as a taboo thing like this is a bad thing we are actually marrying for physical intimacy for raising kids and i don't like this thing we need to devote our life towards certain higher purpose so it's not necessary rahu is only looking for some spouse or life partner or getting married in the fourth house it's not necessary rahu might going to be looking for something else which it become very difficult for normal person to understand what this rahu cap capability and capacity is going to be so this is going to be a bit tricky placement of rahu in the fourth house i hope you have gained some insights regarding this rahu placement you are having any queries any consultations feel free to contact me at my email id and i will try my best to respond you back as soon as possible till then please subscribe my channel below make sure to hit the like button and follow me on instagram we will meet very very soon in the next video bye bye and hare krishna